What's up, Rube? It's Little Big Robots back with the video. Today I'm going to be looking at something that I've been meaning to unbox and look at for a while. Um, uh, this is the uh, Vincent and Bob block from the movie Black Hole by Disney from Diamond Select. This, I believe, if I remember correctly, is the Maximilian uh, from Diamond Select. If you don't know the movie Black Hole, I don't know what you're doing. Stop this video and go watch it. It was Disney's attempt uh, to make kind of like a serious sci-fi movie, right? Um, <clears throat> so I think Star Wars had come out and it was the hot new thing to have like robots and stuff and Disney wanted to uh, wanted to uh, you know get in on that I guess um, and and make a sci-fi movie. Black Hole is set on a spaceship near a black hole. That's all I'll say and I'll also spoil a little bit. If you haven't seen it, I don't know why. Go see it. This is Maximilian, who is the villain robot in it. When I first got Maximilian, and yes, he kind of floats around. That's why he's on a stand. Uh, when I first got Maximilian, I thought he was too wide. He didn't look accurate or whatever. I'm not a real huge stickler about that stuff because the paint job is fine and everything. He's a little dusty because he just sits on my one of my uh, desk or my shelf there. Um, but... The more I watched the, watched the movie again, and I think he's probably pretty accurate. I think he is about that chunky and wide. Very, when you were a kid and you saw this guy roll up on screen, it was like, holy moly. Um, he makes a cool kind of grunt noise. He just floats slowly around. <laughs> like It's like he doesn't do much. But at the same time, that's so intimidating. I, 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 you know, I've seen people make fun of Maximilian a lot and stuff. Like, it's like no, a giant floating bulletproof or laserproof robot with you know spinny things that will you know literally gut you or whatever is pretty darn scary. I think these are laser beams or something. Um, the paint job is fine, uh, you know, not bad. Uh, Diamond Select usually makes pretty good. These, this is Bob and Vincent. They are the good guy robots. If you didn't know. Um, I'll explain it a little bit, but you really should go watch the movie. I, you know, I'm kind of shocked if anybody out there hasn't seen it already. If you haven't watched it in a while, you can watch it on uh, Disney+. Plus. I don't think I need a razor for this. Um, let's pause it and open it real quick. Okay, I'm almost done here, and I noticed that this is the Cygnus Diorama. Diorama. The Cygnus was the um, ship in the game that surrounded the black hole. Blah, blah, blah. Um, it's showing a back part, and I guess, I think the back part, the back wall, comes with uh, Maximilian, I'm, I'm thinking. And so I need to probably, I probably have that somewhere. I need That's just an extra part. It's like a little diorama, which is cool. Cool to me. So first, let's look at the bots a bit. This is Bob, I mean Vincent, sorry. Uh, Vincent, you can see his little... Oh, that is a weird sensation. Wow, that pops out. It's like... um, Almost like an air piston. How is that in there? I don't know if you can tell that, but that's how he pops out. He's like, he'll hide. That is really, really weird. Um, you know, they were doing the, the kind of Star Wars uh, treatment a bit. I think these should come out. And, you know, they wanted to have like you know, cute robots and stuff like that. Totally, totally cool with me. I love these guys. Um, this was voiced by uh, Mal Malcolm McDowell. What's his name? He was in, a, you know, he's a famous actor, great voice. I think he was in um, uh, Planet of the Apes and all that stuff like that. But they floated. So occasionally in the movie, you'd see him just kind of alongside the actors. You know, they're obviously on wires and they're kind of like, nee. but that's the, that's, I love that. That's the complete charm of this movie. I like this uh, front design here. It's like the little laser beams come out here. He's got a uh, little readout there for some reason. Because remember, this is in the, what, 70s? 81? 89? Uh, 79? I can't remember when this came out. So they didn't quite, you know, imagine if they would have had iPads back in the 70s. Even Star Wars would have came out differently, you know. It's just, it's like Star Trek, you know, all this, the bulky tech they use. So all this should fold up into him, and he can be a little ball. It's a really, really cute figure. Um, but, you know, it's also an, an interesting design. It's, oh, so this is going to block it, I see. So these are going to be the... Oh, that is cool. They give you... I was wondering what those were. They give you the little hole blocker thingies. Where'd the other one go? There she is. Let's see here. So I'm going to... I like them without his arms extended. Maybe just do one extended, you know. But I like that they allow you to block the little, oops, block the holes there. I think these come out, yeah, these come out as well. Oh, cool, they're, they are. They're letting you pop up his legs. 
This is neat. Um, Diamond Select usually does pretty cool stuff, and they're usually a little bit, oh, can be a little bit more inexpensive than others. Look at that. See, so that's him floating around. That is really awesome. I didn't even notice. Um, they come with these stands. I've got a cabillion of these stands, but this is very good. Uh, very, very handy. Essentially, you just plug it in the back like this. You plug it into the stand, and then you're going to tighten them using a little screwdriver there. So I don't have mine with me. Let me see if I can just pop into the stand real quick. Get him to stand up. Let's see if we can just get him to stand up. Or float, I should say. There you go. So he's going to look cool. This is Bob. Bob is... Vincent finds him. Again, I'm not going to spoil it. I wonder if his head closes or not. His should close because he gets scared as well. Oh, it doesn't. Bob is voiced by... He's obviously beat up. He's got like a hillbilly voice. He's voiced by... I can't remember the actor off the top of my head. Um, but, you know, a funny kind of known uh, kind of comic country actor kind of. I want to say he's a musician. I can't remember who it was. I'm just off the top of my head. But he's got, he did a lot of voiceover, I think, in animes or animation and stuff back then. And Bob has obviously, you know, been through some stuff. He's very scared of Maximilian. Uh, you know, I, I would be as well. So you can just use a single. Let's see if we can just use a ah, Jiminy Christmas. So you can just use this stand without having to plug it in. No, you have to plug it in. Get this guy on here as well. This one's a little tighter. So I don't like the ones you have to use a screwdriver on, but that's fine. That's fine for right now. Uh, let's see if we can get it to... I just want you to float for a minute, Bob. Stick with me. Okay, so there we go. Let's put these guys here. Um, it comes with some additional parts. Of course, you get the arms that pop out, little, you know, multi-use arms. As you can see on Bob, they can pop out the side here. So right here is where his arms should come out. I don't think those... Oh, they do! Look at that! Oh, wow. Okay. Does that fold out? It does not, but I bet that pops out. Yep. And then you can put that in there. Which one does it? Which one goes in there? There you go. That's really cool. Um, these, I don't remember. I think these are the laser beams. So these should pop out there or something. I can't remember where these come out. That's like the laser guns. Beep, 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 beep. They have little laser fights and stuff. It's really cute. Um, and then these, I have no idea what these are. Somebody tell me what these are. They came with these guys. And it has like little parts, but they look like little filler parts. I don't know what those are. Um, you get some additional add-ons. Add on bits here. So really, really cool. You get a lot of little junk in here. So you can make a cool display. So what you can do is you can take Bob. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take Bob and I'm going to take Vincent. Like this. And I'm going to take Maximilian. And he's going to be intimidating him from behind. That's, that's really cool. Really, really cool. This was 30 bucks. Um, these two. I got it at a place that honestly is overpriced. I bet you can find these less. But having said that, these are these are worth thirty dollars, I think, because you have two great looking uh, figures. Even if you didn't know what Black Hole was, I bet if you had a kid or something, they'd say, "Oh, that guy's so cute." They would love these little cute little bots. But remember, a single uh, a single uh, Marvel uh, Legends figure is twenty four dollars. So after tax, about twenty six. And so for a little few dollars more, around the same price, you get these two great figures. And uh, you throw in Maximilian on the back there. They could be having a face off with them, you know, floating behind them here. What I like is as it turns, you see how they wobble. That's how it's like in the movie <laughs> on the little strings. <coughs> Excuse me. Such a great movie. If you haven't seen Black Hole, check it out. Go on, go on Disney Plus, or you can even probably even rent it for three bucks on YouTube. It, you know, look at the amazing ship model they built. Have fun watching it. It's just a classic, classic uh, sci-fi movie, but it's a little bit weird. Uh, because Disney made it, so it's got kind of a weird vibe to it, like family-friendly, but they're trying to be a little bit adult, so it's a little scary. You know, there's a little death and stuff in it. I want to get the wall for the back of that thing, see, so they could float on that thing. Fun, 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 fun. I'm so glad to have the Vincent and Bob now. I have the Maximilian, so he can go around and uh, scare the heck out of him. Have a good day, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.